to Mike's Man Cave. This is the first video of a series of videos that we'll be making in relation to modifying Nerf blasters. This is the Falcon Fire AccuStrike. It's part of the AccuStrike series using the um, AccuStrike darts. Now I love the look of this blaster so we won't be um, modifying it externally but we will be upgrading the power. We're fitting a um, 5 kilo performance upgraded spring. The standard spring in these is 2.5 kilos. The standard spring in these claims the performance of 44 feet per second for an average dark performance. And with the upgraded 5 kilo spring, we should be getting around 98 feet per second, which is more than double the performance, which should be a great upgrade for this beautiful little blaster. So let's test out the standard Falcon Fire and see how she performs straight out of the box. And then we'll upgrade it and see how she performs with the upgraded 5 kilo performance spring installed. Okay, that was the um, stock standard AccuSeries Falcon Fire and we fired 15 darts and I love these AccuStrike darts because have a look at that. They're all on the same spot, not one of them hit the wall, there's no flyers and the performance of this particular blaster, the wall says 20 metres so it's not really all that bad. Um, you're probably looking between 15 and um, 18 metres where all the darts landed with a big concentration at about the 16 metre mark I guess um, it's 15 darts, I can't see any point in firing any more darts because um, the performance on this is quite steady and quite good um, so let's upgrade this blaster with our new seven and a half kilo spring and see what difference it does make let's get started modifying this blaster um, I use one of these little drivers makes it a lot easier to um, pull these things apart and they're not really expensive and another thing is get yourself a small bowl or container of some sort to keep all the small little parts in so they don't get lost. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's carefully pry this blaster apart without trying to damage anything. There you go, let's have a closer look at that. This is the very first Nerf blaster that I've ever taken apart. 
So what I've done, I've taken photos, close-up photos of everything, um, apart from this actual video that's done for your benefit. But um, it's worthwhile before pulling anything apart to take photos of every step of the way. So um, if you get distracted or down the line, you remember how to put it back together. So let's find this spring and um, we'll um, swap it out. I've taken out the cylinder that was sitting up there. Um, it just simply lifted out, gently lifted out. And um, I'll try not to disturb any of the other bits and pieces, even though some of them have shifted out of place. But um, the less destructive you are, the more careful you are doing this, the easier the assembly process will be. Now, looking at this, it just looks like you need to take out those two Phillips heads and I can already see the spring inside. So we'll um, carefully take those out and um, we'll, um, hopefully the spring will just be able to be swapped out and that's the end of that. I was right, you just take those two out, that little cap comes straight off, just be careful when you take it off because the spring is in there under pressure. Okay, this is the old spring that's just basically pulled out of there. And um, let's have a look, here's the, um, the new spring. You can tell the difference. Um, the new spring is a lot heavier gauge and just compressing them. Oh, there's, there is a big difference in the power of the spring. So I'm hoping that this will make a difference. So let's put that spring back in there and put it all back together. I've got the blaster back together. Now putting it back together was pretty easy. Here is the original two and a half kilo spring. I'll put that in a little plastic bag and label it I think and put it away. Just in case I ever want to put this um, blaster back to standard. The good thing is there's no parts left over. It's all gone back together. Now I've um, given this a bit of a test already, so I've cheated a little bit. Um, the only difference I've noticed um, to the operation of the um, blaster is the slide is a little bit harder to pull back due to the stronger um, spring putting up more resistance and also the trigger is a little bit harder to pull when you pull the trigger but it's not a major problem. I've fired about 10-15 shots um, so far and um, I've already gotten used to the trigger and um, the way it is now. Um, let's get it out on the range so you guys can see what difference it has made. This is our upgraded Falcon Fire AccuStrike and with a five kilo performance spring. Now, I am very impressed. 
There's 15 darts there that you've just seen me fire off. Every single one of them bounced off the back wall, some of them fairly hard. Um, so this is 20 metres. So the range of this blaster using active strike darts is well over 20 metres. Um, where before, um, in my earlier review, you can see the effective range was closer to 10 to 12 metres. So now we've got an effective range of over 20 metres. I'm stoked. This is well worth doing this upgrade and I would highly recommend it to anyone that is looking for some extra performance out of their AccuStrike um, series and especially using these AccuStrike darts. In closing, I would highly recommend the um, 5 kilo spring upgrade for the Falcon Fire and it really makes a difference to the performance of this blaster. I'm hoping there's no long-term damage getting caused to this blaster by the more powerful spring, um, but only time will tell. It doesn't appear to be straining it. It um, fires well and quite consistent as well. Accuracy has not um, been affected at all. The darts still travel in a straight line. I have fired some standard Elite Series darts through it. I mean, they just seem to spiral out of control. Um, I don't think, I, I actually don't like Elite Series standard darts. I prefer these AccuStrike ones. Um, they're much better dart. And especially with this upgraded spring, um, they um, seem to do the job quite nicely and make it a lot easier to consistently hit what you're aiming at. Now for further Nerf Blaster unboxings and reviews or upgrades, I've got a few upgrades um, coming up. Um, subscribe to my channel and in the meantime, thanks for watching.